Previously on Republic of Doyle. Your new boyfriend's becoming a real pain in the ass. He is beau et charmant. Well, people have told me that I can be very beau et charmant. You have to do everything in your power to get Timmy, or you're gonna die alone. Are you asking me out? What? I should have asked you out properly. I would have said no, Des. I know about you and Kathleen. He knows about us. You know, I'm a grown woman, and I can make my own choices. Just do me a favor. When you break up with him, don't make it my problem. Daddy really wants you to tell Jake. You slept with my sister first. Yeah, but when you found out, you, you punched me in the face. C'est toi, mon homme. Et toi, t'es fait. Moi. Sabrina McCarthy needs to go to jail for the murder of her husband, Tom McCarthy. All the evidence points to her. Now, I, for one, will not be held responsible for a mistrial because we can all agree. Now, after all the time we spent deliberating, we should all be on the same page now. So should we try this again? Guilty. Not guilty. What, you too now, Nora? He makes a lot of sense. Buzz, just think about it. Just because Tom and Sabrina had a bad relationship doesn't mean that she killed her husband. How many of us would be in jail if we ended all of our romantic disputes with the odd murder? Well, how about you listen to the facts, juror number eight? Now, let's do this. Now I know why you think she's innocent. You want to sleep with her. It's pathetic. Yes. Who's that guy? I have no idea, but you know, he's been here every day at his trial. All rise. Rise. Don't tell me you're still at that stupid renovation. Just because it's a government job doesn't mean it should take twice as long. Come on, wrap it up. All right, sit down. I have every confidence that you crowd and the jury will have finally come to a unanimous decision. Get to it. Ah! Hey. Oh my. Whoa, just be a hero? What do you think you're doing, young lady? Put down the guns. Guys, don't shoot me, please. Put them down and this guy won't die. Just do what she says. Back up. I didn't kill my husband. I've never even held a gun before until right now, so how could I shoot him? Well, if you've never held a gun before, that thing that your finger's on is called a trigger. Please don't pull it. Something. Oh my God. Yes, Your Honor. The Lazarus. Yes, Your Trial. We are doing this. Okay, I don't care if we have a defendant or not. Okay, now, where are we? We're deadlocked, my lord. Now, I'm sure this one here has something to do with this. Did you? He's the lone standout. He's starting a mutiny in there. And why did she choose you to be the hostage? I don't know. Good taste. Uh, until you figure this out, even though this is not a common practice in this province, you are sequestered. All of ye, fix this. Randall, I understand you're a regular at these hearings. Your interest for being present at a trial is... To support Tom, my brother, or at least his memory. You know, it's been hard since he passed. He's really the brains behind Gallows. Uh, Sergeant, I'm sorry, but honestly, I don't have a clue where Sabrina would go. Sorry. Fine, but we'll be talking again. Hi there. Listen, you happen to find Sabrina yet by any chance? We'll get her. No one's leaving this building without my permission. Seeing as there's a, an alleged killer on the loose. Alleged, exactly. And, you know, I'm sure you will find her because you're excellent at your job. But listen, I was just going to 
say that this whole case is pretty circumstantial. You know what I mean? I am dying in there. I could use any bit of information that, you know, you might have. Bailiff, take him away, please. No, 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 Leslie, Leslie, the murder weapon, okay? You know, you gotta find the murder weapon. We need that gun, so... You know, we never thought to look for a gun. Thanks, Jake. I'm coming. Well, that was that was dramatic. But uh, don't worry, I'm okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's my seat number eight. Hand over your phones to the bailiff. Mark, in your territory, I get it. Don't worry, boss. We all know you're in charge. Rules. All meals will be brought in. Bathroom breaks, only one person out of the room at a time. And there will be no phone calls unsupervised. If we come up with a unanimous verdict, we all get to go home. It's that simple. Any questions? Yeah. Say you've got like a medical condition and you need medication. It's a life or death kind of thing, you know? So what do you do then? Someone can bring it in for you. Deadly. Because I've got this allergy thing that's happening to me. I, I don't know if it's happening to anyone else, but it's really hitting my head. Your cologne is triggering it. It <laughs> smells horrible. It's like eau de karate brutal. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go make a call and uh, get someone to bring it in for me. Hey, bye. Supervised. You got it. Boss. Bailiff. Hired at it, son? Yes. I'm studying uh, because a man with an education goes to places where there are no bounds. Dad. Hey, how you doing? Listen, I, uh, I need a favor. Sorry, son. Not in the mood to talk to you right now. I won't bother to make up an excuse. Bye. Do you think I'm handsome? I mean, would you classify me as a, an attractive man? Yes, Des, you're very handsome. Now listen to me carefully. I'm at the courthouse. I need you to come down here and, and bring me my allergy medication in the bathroom by the cabinet. What? You you have allergies? That's a, that's another thing that we have in common. I don't even know how to take this. When did they start? Des, shut up. I'm currently sequestered on a jury, and I can only have access to life and death medication. Do you understand me? Oh my God, you're talking to me in code. I've always dreamed of this moment. Shut up and get down here, I'm timing you. Okay. You all saw what happened. Sabrina did not help her case. If you had any doubts before, this should erase it. Only guilty people run. Oh, come on. Desperate people run too, right? She held a saw to your throat and a gun to your back. And even after all that, you're still convinced she's not guilty? Well, it's possible that maybe she didn't feel like she was getting a fair shake in here. Especially with uh, tool hand Luke here at the helm. Let's piece this together bit by bit. No, no, hey, look, I'm the foreman here. Okay, relax, buddy. We all know that you're the foreman, yes. Now, the police say that whoever killed Tom used a pillow to muffle the gunshot. So, let me ask you. Does Sabrina McCarthy strike you as the type that would kill someone? Execution style? No. Me either. That brings me to my next point. Sabrina says she came home, she tripped over Tom's dead body, and that's how she ended up covered in blood, right? If you came home late at night, decided to kill your spouse, would you just sit there, wait for the cops to show up, covered in your victim's blood? I wouldn't. I would not, her. That brings me to the gun. Hear me, Mr. Uh, Foreman. Did they find the gun? No, they didn't. Which means she did a great job of getting rid of it. Not in the house, she didn't. The police checked everywhere. You see, if you don't have a gun, then you don't have any proof. Motive. She stood to gain a fortune from the Gallows Brewery now that her husband is dead. But let me ask you, let me ask all of you. Is there anybody else, anyone in the world besides Sabrina who could benefit from Tom's death? Looking for me? Okay, I gotta go. I'll uh, see you around five those from. Oh, hey, hey, I brought you some decent food. I know how bad prison food could be. I'm not in jail, Des. <laughs> the security around here is intense. They were gonna pat down the sandwich. <laughs> Colon care pills. Well, that's the only thing I could find in the office bathroom. So, uh, oh, FYI, they are expired. Okay, listen. I don't have enough information on this case, and I'm gonna need your help. I'm the man of the hour. And hours. Well, whatever you need me to be real, I'm on it. 
Just don't tell anyone you're helping me. Uh, okay, look. You see this guy behind you? Don't stare right at him. I need you to go over to him right now and find out anything you can. Go, now, go. Okay, go. Go. Uh, uh, hey! Hey, Jerry. Hey, man. Jerry. It's me. It's Ricardo. Hey. I don't know you. Jerry. Chairman. Jer. Buddy, my name's Owen. Now go away, will ya? That was pathetic. Hey, at least I found out that his name is Owen and that he is a very tense man. Hey, you got a photo. Goodbye now. My phone, my phone, my phone. Now, oh, Owen, buddy, what is your story? I was wondering when you were going to show up. Look, I'm sorry about before. I need your help. <laughs> you are in some serious trouble here. Shh, do you hear that? No, I want to help you. I do. But I really don't appreciate having a gun stuck in my face. Sorry, but if you don't give me back that gun... I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. Remember what I said about not liking having a gun stuck in my face? Mm -hmm. Well, there's one thing I like a lot less than that, and that's anything sharp stuck in that region. The gun. Copy. Thank you. Let's go. I mean, you are taking a bit of a risk showing your face in public like this. I mean, you're plastered on every news station in the province. Plus, we're literally returning to the scene of the crime. You know that, right? I need to find a murder weapon. Something. Anything to clear me. Before he was killed, Tom had complained to the cops that someone was after him. I'm sorry, but is that Randall? Is that your brother-in-law? What's he doing? Looks like he's cleaning me out. He's stealing from you? What, does he need money or something? He gets everything from Tom's will if I go to jail. place it's quite the brother-in-law you have yeah i never really liked him didn't think he'd stoop so low though there is something wrong here what i can't figure out what it is but i studied those crime photos and 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 there's something missing in this room i need to get changed but obviously i need to keep an eye on you too so look away jake of course i uh, yeah <clears throat> looking There's no bullets in this gun. Yeah. I hate guns. But mostly bullets. Me too. Oh, sorry. Just I'm not looking. You know, you should get changed in the other in the other room. <sighs> sorry. Hey, Des, what are you up to? Oh, hey, um, uh, nothing. Uh, this is just um, a, uh, isn't that Sabrina McCarthy? Yeah, yeah. Jake has me helping him from the outside. Jake's got you investigating the case he's a juror on? What else does he have you doing for him? Nothing. That's it. Just the pick. Zero, nada. Well, I suppose it's kind of nice that he's trying to help this girl out. Not too bright, but nice all the same. How is it that you're calling me right now, Des? Um, Jake commandeered my phone. I was bound by law. You were something else, you know that? Listen, I need your help. Isn't Sabrina's lawyer supposed to be handling this? Yeah, well, I'm kind of at Sabrina McCarthy's house with Sabrina McCarthy. Oh, good. Running around with a fugitive murderer now. Excellent. I hope you're very happy together. Dad, my gut is telling me she didn't do this, OK? I need you to check Randall McCarthy's alibi the night that Tom was killed. I mean, I just saw the guy stealing from his dead brother's house. There's something not right with him. OK, done. Oh, um, so Owen, disgruntled employee from Gallows, and Tom McCarthy, who fired him just a few days before he was murdered. Owen tried to file a workers' comp claim for an eye injury, but McCarthy wouldn't sign. Turn around, now. And this Owen guy looks like a total sketchbag, if you ask me. 
Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Put the phone down. And the gun. And the phone. I said that. Look, just do it, huh? Okay, I'm putting the phone down. I'm, uh... Jake? You're Owen. Am I right? You... <gasps> find Sabrina, all right? This Owen guy, he's a real wingnut, and I think he's out to hurt her. You know, if Owen is a disgruntled employee gone madman, he might have designs on the whole family, and he got a taste for it when he killed Tom McCarthy in a fit of rage. Check this out. This is weird. Owen's still on the payroll at Gallows, and Randall's the one signing his paychecks. So what are we thinking? This is some kind of payoff? Whatever it is, we'll figure it out. You get back to that courthouse before there's a citywide search out for you, too. Dad. No, Jake. The best chance she has is a solid defense in that deliberation room. And there's no one else fighting for her besides you. Now go. All right, fine, but first, I need you to give this to Leslie. <laughs> no, it isn't. There's a gun in here, and I think it might be the murder weapon that killed Tom. Okay, go. You up for a drink and a chat with Mr. Randall McCarthy? Why does Courtney? You asked me out on a date? Trying to get some candid snaps of me for the Scope magazine or something, are you? Oh, no, 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 you're precious. No. The uh, bailiff tells me that you've been in here for over an hour. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, colon issues. Like you said, I've been gone a long time, so I should get back into that room and get you a verdict. Mm. All right, ladies, pack it up. The crowd is going to be here soon. Excuse me, Randall. You must be the guy who called by the car. Let's go take a look at her. Brand new Beamer, man. All the bells and whistles. Complete steal for 15 grand. We're independent private investigators. We're looking into the death of your brother. Really? I thought that investigation was over a long time ago. Officially, yes. But can we ask you a couple of questions? <clears throat> Do you think Sabrina killed Tom? Sabrina? Well, the cops think so, but... Are you sure you didn't kill him? No, I didn't. What's wrong with his voice? You know, I'd say it's puberty, but I don't think he's reached it yet. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Where were you the night Tom was killed? We just need location and details and all that. I was at the Gallows promo till about 3 a.m., and then you can go and ask the rest of the 200 people that were there. What about uh, Owen Banks? You know him? Owen. He lost his job at the brewery. Haven't seen him since. Really? Sorry. Oh, that's wild, because he's still on your payroll. Guess I'll have to ask accounting about that. Linda, you're killing me here. Stack those cakes. I guess we'll let accounting tell him his company assets have been frozen. Go to the office and fill Mel in. I gotta grab something from the house. Roger that. Sorry. You've been gone for over an hour. Yeah, uh, sorry, everyone, sorry. I, I kind of got lost, but it's all good now. Look, there's nothing good about this, Doyle. You know what? I'm going to get you gone off this jury. You mark my words. Why would you do that now, Luke? Hey, can we just get back to it, please? Absolutely. Is, uh, is that a phone? 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 A phone? Oh, my. Look at that. It, there is, it is a phone. A Give phone. Me. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. All right, bye, all right, relax. You were uptight, but you were very, very good at your job. I should hire you. You know, I, I own my own business. I'm a private detective. What is this foolish mathematical equation doing up here? What happened to all the pictures? Here's the good news. I think I've found two more people who may have a motive to kill Tom. Randall McCarthy and Owen Banks. Nice artwork. Well, they're obviously not exact likenesses, but they'll do. Now, Owen Banks was fired from Gallows Brewery just two days before Tom was killed. And Randall McCarthy, now Randall is the deceased's brother. But guess what? 
If Sabrina is convicted for the murder of Tom McCarthy, Randall inherits everything. Motive? Washroom break. Mr. Hotshot here had a phone. Yeah, I found it in the bathroom. I was going to return it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I propose we go back and we start at the very beginning. What do you say? Are you kidding? Again. Huh? Got a bit of a situation, eh? That's putting it mildly. How can I help you, Malachi? This came my way today, and I thought I might bring it to you. Where'd this come from? I don't know. Anonymous. Weird things just happen sometimes. I saw Jake earlier. He said I needed to find a missing gun. And then you suddenly show up with a gun. I know. Weird. What are the odds this has something to do with the McCarthy trial? Tell me what all this is about, Malachi. Start talking. Hello? Anyone home? Where can I put this so the brain trust can't find it? I was looking for Dad, actually. Uh, have you seen him around? No, I think he's at the office. <sighs> Anything I can do? No, just uh, it was a small thing. Just Really, Kathleen? Because you look like you're about to jump out of your skin. Uh, you know, I didn't sleep at all last night. It was just, yeah, I think I'm overtired or something. Yeah. You going to get the phone? Your phone. <laughs> yeah. Walter, again. Ah, I gotta run, Rose. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay. See you later, Rose. Bye. Okay. Who here still thinks that Sabrina is guilty? Honestly, I never really believed she was guilty. Well, seven of these people do, and if we count our good foreman's vote, that brings us to eight. <laughs> Get out of my seat. Man. What is with you and the whole seat thing? And tell us all, why are you so intent on convicting Sabrina? And why are you so intent on letting her go? Huh? You're the only holdout. Everybody else here was with me. Yeah, well, I'm not with you because you're a bully. And like all bully dickheads, whenever you are confronted, you will back down. It's all right, everyone. It's okay. He's a bully, remember? And any minute, he is going to run away. Okay, stop. I think we should ask the bailiff if we can take five. It's getting a little testosterone heavy in here. Ah. Uh, okay, that's a good idea. I, uh, bathroom break. Yeah. This ain't over. Hey, Mal. Hey, uh, is Mal around? Don't know. Don't care. Are you okay? Of course I am. I always am. Oh, my God. You're, you're like, actually sad. Can you just shut up for once and give me a hug? Okay. Um, it'll be okay. There, there. Shut up. <sighs> okay, so what exactly are we not talking about? I don't know. I'm just... I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that mom is about to bolt again. Oh, t t no, she's happy here, Tinny. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Thank you. Tell anyone you saw me like this, and I'll tear your skin off. Nice. Please don't tear my skin off. <sighs> there, there. Shut up. OK. Look, mostly everyone's on my side, except for this one moron. He's making it difficult for me. I understand. A guilty verdict is the best outcome, but it shouldn't change our deal. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll do my best. Now, who were you on the phone with? Again with the bathroom, Mr. Doyle. Yeah, the medication I'm on, it's really, you know, causing a lot of problems with my system. What's your excuse? 
Jurors are not meant to have contact with the presiding judge during deliberation, Mr. Doyle. Uh, you may wish to leave before you face a contempt of court charge. Uh, you may not have noticed, but I'm not exactly the most patient of men. Judge Tizer, I am not trying to be difficult here. Well, who do you think you are? Henry Fonda? Uh, in there trying to change the minds of a bunch of people who just don't care? Look, I'm pretty sure that uh, someone in there is really pushing hard for a guilty verdict. Oh, that's odd. As my sources tell me that you are the squeaky wheel in there, holding up a perfectly sound verdict. I just feel like there's some agenda uh, against Sabrina in this entire case. <laughs> and you don't have an agenda, Mr. Doyle. Then, then just tell me, what, what are you doing right now, right here, talking to me? Huh? Oh. 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 I am so sorry. Oh. This whole medication thing that I'm on, it's really causing havoc. Get out! Get out of this bathroom! Just get out! Okay, listen, you're doing a great job, by the way. Sorry, coordination's off. It's... <clears throat> Mal, you gotta tell me where you found the gun. You might want to talk to a man named Owen Banks. He may have had it last. Jake told you this? Leslie. I know more than most how much of a mess Jake can be. But he wouldn't be trying to prevent this girl from going to jail if he wasn't sure she was innocent. Look, you have the murder weapon now, so you can talk to this Owen Banks character. Except this isn't the murder weapon. This is the gun that shot McCarthy in the arse. There were two guns? Yeah. You better get that. And you can go. Please. That J.B. Tizard? You stole the judge's cell phone? Stop, please, okay? I'm hiding in a broom closet. I need you to look into Luke Shaw. I know he's up to something. That gun you found isn't the murder weapon. There's a second gun. You mean the gun that killed Tom's still out there? And there are two shooters. Maybe. All right. Listen, I gotta go. Hopefully when we talk next time, you'll have found our friend Sabrina, all right? Goodbye. Okay. Is this where Jake Doyle lives? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I you a friend of his. He's actually working a case for me. Oh. So, um, who are you? I'm Kathleen. I'm uh, his sister, actually. Hey, you want a drink or something? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I'd have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Stop! Up! What do you want? You're coming with me this time. You get out of my house, buddy, or I will cut you. I swear. I wouldn't call her bluff, Owen. Cops are gonna be here about 45 seconds. You're already outnumbered. So make the right choice. Get out of my house. I'm not finished with you. Get out! You ladies okay? Yeah, I think so. I wish you'd get you back to the office, Sabrina, right? Hey, not the first guy I realized he couldn't mess with Kathleen Noel. You did okay there. Thank you for the use of your phone, Judge Tizard. Now, what do you think? I've been waiting for this all day. Oh, me too. What if someone comes in? They won't. Hi! Well, this is a, a surprise, I have to say. Carry on. Oh, yeah. You realize you're not in the back seat of your car to drive in a Mount Pearl. You know that, right? Under the circumstances, it's it's not unusual for, for this kind of thing to happen. Oh, when you get tense, stressed, your pants just spontaneously drop to the floor today? It's just being together in that little room all day, side by side, it was bound to happen. Uh, we've already been sequestered for, like, a few hours. Look, look, what what happens on the jury trial stays on the jury trial. And it's our word against yours. Please, don't say anything, Jake. I don't know, Nora. 
from the outside, it looks like you two might be in on something together. No, no, nothing like that. Just trying to change his mind. I'm not convinced. Wait. OK, look. What about money? I can get you money. Uh, I know a guy willing to pay for not guilty votes. What? Would you, um, sorry. Would you mind, uh, repeating that? I know a guy willing to pay for not guilty votes. Really? How much money are we talking about here? 15,000 a piece, at least. That's what he promised. $15,000? You got a name? Who is he? I don't know. He called this morning, sounded real panicked. Oh, that's one way to change someone's mind, huh? 15,000 is 15,000. I hear all this time I thought it was my sound logic and possibly a little bit of charm that brought you around. Anything else you want to add for the record? Damn. Who is this Owen Banks to you, Sabrina? No one. I don't know the man. Not even from the brewery? I didn't go there often. It was Tom's place. So you don't know why Owen is after you? Because he's pretty determined and relentless. I have no idea, Mr. Doyle. I think she's telling the truth. Yeah, me too. Maybe we should go stake out her house again. If Owen found her there before. You may expect to find her there again. Des? Yes. We're gonna go watch Sabrina's house for a bit. Hold down the fort, okay? You got it. Okay, so, uh, what do you wanna do? I mean, we can talk personal matters, money matters, case matters, or we can play cribbage. What do you think? 15,000 piece, at least. That's what he promised. Do you have any idea of the number of charges you're facing, young lady? Obstruction of justice, taking bribes, interfering with a jury? I'm so sorry, my lord. Please, I'll do anything. Clearly. Nora Fleet, you are excused from any further duty. Now go home. I'm pretty sure that the jury tampering doesn't end with our friend Nora there. On that, we agree. You want to tell me why you were recording a jury? That isn't mine, OK? I brought it to you. I found it in the deliberation room. Sure you did. And, and you, you got something on it that you thought was worth sharing with someone. Uh, you were clever enough to erase the history. But I checked my phone records online, and there was one call there about, about a minute and a half to Maliki Doyle. Uh, I guess you were missing your daddy, were you? We're very, very close, and, uh, uh, you know, he's really old. He could die any minute, so... I warned you. You're off this jury. I could still get a verdict from ten jurors. And I intend to. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Don't worry. I'm just here to say goodbye and, you know, sign up for the jury reunion or whatever. Yeah, well, good riddance. Finally some justice being served. I see news travels fast, don't I? You know, finally we can wrap this bad boy up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't rest on my laurels yet, buddy. I think our jury's still out on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Oh, my God, look at that. Lots of them. See ya. Nice to see you again. Cheers. You would have been very proud of your daughter today, Malky. I am every day. You know what I mean. You got some pretty fearless kids. Yeah, and historically, that isn't necessarily proven to be a good thing. Kathleen seemed, um... Out of sorts today. Yeah, I suppose she was, since that maniac walked into our house. Well, actually, I saw her before that. She seemed, I don't know, strange. Everything all right, Mal? Do you know? Probably something to do with work. Jake, fired again. Hey, yeah, listen, that judge, he wanted me gone. I know the feeling. So now who's going to be on Sabrina's side in that jury room? I don't know, but we got to find more evidence. Looks like Randall might be trying to blow town, trying to raise some cash. He tried to sell his $80,000 car to Dez for 15 grand. Did you just say $15,000? There was a, uh, there was a juror being bought off for that exact amount. So Randall's trying to ensure Sabrina goes to jail? No, I don't think so. I think he was buying an innocent vote. He's trying to help Sabrina. Dad? I gotta go. Mm. 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 Mm.
Oh, actually, that's probably good for exfoliation. Do it again. Where is Sabrina? Man, I, look, I, I don't know. I did not see her comment. She, she, she was super strong, moves like a cheetah. Yes? She's gone. Sabrina escaped. So, what do we got on Luke, the foreman? Not much. No criminal record. Squeaky clean. He's working some kind of angle. We just got to figure out what. Why is he still taped up? Well, he's... You know, got to think about what he did wrong. Untape him. Mm. 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 Ow, bye. Although the Shut up. Okay, guys, check this out. I was talking to my friend over at the shooting range. She says that Tom McCarthy was there almost every day before he died. Looks like Tom did own a gun. Yeah, but Sabrina insisted that they didn't. Maybe she didn't know. Okay, so maybe Randall is paying Owen after he's fired. Maybe the two of them conspired to kill Tom and frame Sabrina. Why would Randall pay for a not guilty vote? Guilty conscience? We've also got Owen's cell phone records. Calls made to Tom before he died. Dozens and dozens of calls lasting only seconds. Were they hang-ups? Looks like it. The kind of thing will make you paranoid, like someone's after you. So much so that you might buy a gun. Wait, wait, wait. Sabrina was, uh, she was yelling at someone on the phone on the, the landline. Uh, okay. Put it on speakerphone. All right. You've reached the Hideaway Lounge on George Street. Tonight we're hosting a Gallows Beer event. That's the second bar that uh, we, we talked to Randall. He must have taken Sabrina there. Please let me go with you, Jake. I already got a beat on this weasel. Come on. Take it. Untape him. Okay, you can go. Ah, oh, thanks. Dead's. Oh, it's dark. Turn on the light. Okay, so Randall pays off Owen and then he tries to buy Sabrina's innocence, and then she runs to Randall. Oh, what do you think? Do you think they're all in cahoots to try to end uh, yes. Tom's murder? What? Well, look at this. Jake, I'm really sorry. Des, sorry for tying you up. That's cool. I'm in love with Randall. Doesn't mean I killed my husband. You're in love with Randall. That is not fit. So I'm guessing that uh, you don't realize that this guy, your new boyfriend here, he paid Owen to terrorize your husband. Randall, we got proof that you paid Owen to harass Tom. Randall, did you kill my husband? Your own brother? No, no, no. Uh, Owen wasn't supposed to kill Tom. I just wanted to, to scare him so he'd sell the, the share of the business to me. Owen was the reason that Tom was so freaked out. He was sleeping with a baseball bat under his bed. And now he's dead? For the business. I know, but he wasn't supposed to die. You let me go through a trial. All that time that I spent locked up and you knew I didn't kill Tom. I did, and I tried to pay off a juror, and, and I went broke doing it. Wait, wait, you decided to pay off a juror as opposed to, I don't know, use that money to help her get a better lawyer, maybe? That would have been a better plan. Or maybe just tell the cops that Owen is guilty. Well, yeah, I'm not so sure. All right. Oh, God. Nobody is going nowhere now. Not without that one going back to trial. She's my ticket out. You killed my brother. I didn't mean to kill him. He knows that. It was an accident. I stood in the doorway, and I aimed for the lamp, and... It's okay, buddy. I know, it was an accident. You didn't mean to shoot him in the ass. Just give me the knife. Give me the knife. I don't think that this guy killed Tom. Then who did? Oh, yeah. The jury will be back with a verdict within the hour. So you think she's going to go down for murder that she didn't commit? I don't know. Look, Tom was hiding a gun somewhere in that house. I need to go have another look. Then let's go right now, double time, because we don't have much time. Gross. There's this new cable network premiering a new show next month called For Whom the Gavel Tolls. It's a docuseries about Canada's most notorious murder trials. And let me guess, someone I know is involved? Well, the show happens to be written by a Luke Shaw, your foreman. Unbelievable. Okay, thanks a lot. Let's go. This way. I can't... Whoa, is this police tape? Oh, whoa, hey, hey, are we allowed in here? I don't know if we can come in the police. Oh, did you steal those? I, uh, borrowed them. 
The last time I was here with Sabrina, I could just sense that something was off. Of course, you could sense that something was off. I can't help but feel like we're just overlooking something. Yes, I agree. For some reason, this photo was always bothering me, and it's not the blood. I think it's the scuff mark. The scuff mark. Wait a minute. There was a dresser right there. Randall must have sold it. Des, go move that chair. Yeah. Oh, the vent, and there's no grate. Brilliant. Desi, I think you're gonna have to stick your hand in that hole. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have finally reached a unanimous verdict, my lord. Uh, pass it on to the bailiff, who will read it aloud. Oh, hey, oh, sorry to uh, interrupt, sorry, your honor, your lord's daughter, lord's For God's sake. I think you're going to want to talk with me in private. You think I'm going to what? We have what you would call a relevant, new, pertinent information. Get out of my courtroom. Get out, both of you. I have a gun. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry. Gun. Don't shoot. It's a... Uh, the murder weapon that killed Tom McCarthy. But guess what? It only has one set of prints on it. And they belong to the deceased. What? What, what are you saying? Tom was the only person to shoot that gun. He committed suicide? No. No, not exactly. You see, Your Honor, Lord, apparently, Tom used to like to sleep with a gun under his pillow. And the night that Owen broke in and shot him in the arse, Tom woke up with a start like you would and, uh... Accidentally shot himself. And then when you came into the room, you accidentally kicked the gun into a vent. And that's where we found it. So, that's when they'd say, uh, voila. Oh, there's just one more thing, Your Honor. I don't want to take up too much of your valuable time, but you should know that your foreman, Luke, here, he has some kind of court TV deal. Apparently, the deal gets even sweeter if he brings home a guilty verdict. Interesting. Where'd this come from? What do you think? It was a gift from Sabrina for helping her. She, uh, now officially owns the brewery. If this is payment, this could be the best job we ever took. Don't mind if I do, sir. Yeah, what's your best price on a, a last-minute uh, one-way fare? Yeah, and so what time did that super saver ends? I gotta call you back. Planning a little trip there, sister? <laughs> no. A job opportunity, actually. Just weighing the options. No decision yet. Is it okay if Tinny, I mean, I should probably fly her out with me, but, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be staying or, you know, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be happening. So. Uh, absolutely. But we should see what she feels first. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's talk about it later. I mean, it should be safer with you, I mean, here than anywhere else anyway, so. Safer from what exactly? <laughs> Nothing. See you later. Yeah. All right. Kathleen. Yeah. Did you happen to tell your new boyfriend, you know, Walter, that you're going to be leaving, maybe? Of course. I just got off the phone with him, actually. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Did you call me flighty? At least she leaves me alone for large stretches of time. You'd go away with you if I was gone. You'd cry yourself to sleep every night. I would shed many tears. Of joy. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kathleen around? She hasn't been answering any of my messages. We got dinner reservations. What? Next Wednesday, trouble hits close to home. Des's father has been kidnapped. Don't worry, I'm this. Really, really close to home. <laughs> 
Oh, are you okay? Oh, he punched you right between the legs. An all-new Republic of Doyle, next Wednesday at 9 on CBC. David Suzuki hosts an all-new The Nature of Things, Thursday at 8 on CBC. Take the shot. CBC News The National starts now.